you want to share a link with a colleague or a client but you're getting stuck and besides sharing the file did you know you can share a specific frame a section or even a prototype before we dive in a quick disclaimer i get a lot of questions and i want to clear them in the beginning of the video but i suggest you to keep watching till the end because you may know new things you can share figma files with anyone in view or edit mode but anyone with a link must have a figma account even the free ones sadly i tried as of this video date and it's like that i'm only seeing the export pdf approach to send the files to avoid this account creation you can also share your prototype links I'll show you how because it's not in the common share button. If you're in the starter plan, there's some things you should consider when creating the file. Sometimes you may create a file in your drafts folder and try to share with someone to edit. That's not possible, you need to move the file into a project in order to be editable. Otherwise, you can only share the view mode. So if you go here to share, you see this message to move the file to a project. Since I'm on starter plan, I only have one project that I can move the file in, so I'll select this. Now, if you click share button again, you don't have the message anymore. You can copy the link here to send to anyone. In here, you can add emails and select if you want to give access to edit, to view files, or view files and prototypes. In this select menu, you may switch between view and edit mode and to enable anyone with a link to access it or restrict only to people invited to this file. If you're in the starter plan, you can't add a password protection because you will be prompted to upgrade your plan to pro, but I'll show you in a moment how it looks when I switch to pro plan. Here you see the people that have access to this file and if you click in the select, you can change the rights for the user. You can promote to owner, you can change to view mode or only keep it as edit. Pete has also want to remove people from your file, so it's here where you can do that. Then at the bottom of the model, you have these three other features. You can copy the dev mode link and share, let's say, with your developer's team, but they will only have access to this if they have a pro plan or if they are viewers inside an organization plan. You may want to publish the file to the community. I often do that to share my tutorials files with you. And you may want to get an embed code to embed the file into any documentation page to be accessible to others. Then let's say you have made a prototype of your work and want to share it. As you see, you don't have here any option to do that. Let's close this window and click here in this arrow where we start the prototype. You have two modes to display prototypes, full window if you click in present or in a smaller window if you select preview. The option to share prototype is only available if you are in present mode, so let's click here to run the prototype and now you have a similar blue button to share that says share prototype. And if you click, it opens the same model window you saw for the files, but for this one or prototypes. And for the starter plan, that's it. Now, for professional plan, it's pretty much the same options, but I'll show you what you get with dev mode and show you the password protection option and also different ways that you can share your designs also available on starter plan. So we're now in my pro account and I have here a normal file with frames and sections. And if you see the share button is the same as on starter plan. And if you click, you get the same feeling. But I've here this new advanced option that allow viewers to copy, share and export from these files, which gives the viewer more freedom to do few things. And if you click now to protect with a password, you get this input text to write your password or if you want to generate one, you can click this icon to auto-generate one password. Before I show you how it looks when we send a link to dev mode, did you know that when you share a file, you can link to a specific frame or a section with a group of frames? So if you look at this file, you see I have here on top three frames that are isolated and down below I have two frames that are inside this yellow section. And sometimes you may have a specific frame for a landing page, for example, or a app login flow that you may organize inside a section because it's a group of related frames. And 
Now, if you click in the frame name and click share, you are actually sharing the link to that frame. Let's test it. Select the frame, click share, click copy link. Now let's open a browser tab with a link and you see it goes to the orange frame in focus. Now let's try to do the same for a section. Select a section, hit share, copy link and open in a browser tab. And you go directly to the section. And if you zoom out, you still have access to view everything in the file. But with this type of share, you are able to focus more in what you want to share. Now in ProPlan, you have access to dev mode. So right after the share button, you have this toggle button that if you activate, you get slight changes to these green background buttons. That means you are in dev mode. So if I now click share, you get pretty much the same modal window, but the link to share, although the same as normal mode, it sends the viewer directly to dev mode. And for the viewer, that means something like this. If they click in some components on the designs, if you look at your right sidebar, you have these inspect options that you can see some styles and properties of the component like borders, paddings, sizings, color properties and other features like links to storybook, github, gyra and other tools. And that's it. We covered all the basics for you to understand how to share Figma files and its benefits on Starter and Pro Plan, which is the one I use for in my work. I hope you get value from this video. If so, please hit the like button and share with other colleagues using Figma and that also may help them. Thanks for watching and have a great day.